Hello, I'm Brent Wilsey, and with me is Chase Wilsey, we're from Wilsey Asset Management, and welcome to today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Well, well, today we're talking about should you follow CEO trading? And over the years, I've had people say like, oh, you know, I want to look at the insider trading and so forth, that's going to tell me a lot. Well, I've always kind of argued against that for a number of reasons, but let's talk about one that, here's an example here of um, Best Buy, the stock fell 4% as the CEO sells the stock. Well, he sold about 398,000 shares, but he still held 511,000 shares. And these were big dollars, but still he owns more than he sold. And there's reason for this. Yeah, it's 398,000. So he sold about $12.8 million worth of stock. Mm -hmm. But as of today, the current price, 511,000 shares, that still equals $16.1 million. He still has a big position in the company. Exactly. And his reasoning for selling the company was, I want to diversify. You know, as great as the company may be, sometimes things happen and he can't act on inside information anyway. So it's not like you should follow someone because they're buying the stock. They're, they don't know what's going on in the future either. Right. Buying or selling makes no sense and, and don't worry about it. But again, it's amazing how it fell 4% and it just, you know, don't I, follow it. I mean, we always tell people it'd be crazy to put all your money in one basket, right? Oh yeah. Can you imagine if somebody came in the office like, oh, we're going to sell you one stock, put all your, your net worth into it? No, of course not. So why do you follow these guys when they try to diversify their portfolio? He still has a, you know, his own retirement to worry about <laughs> as exactly, well. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh, and by the way, I forgot. I voted today. So make sure you vote today and, and you're going to I still got to do it later. And, yeah. And Lindsay's going to vote and so forth. So I just make sure that you saw the I voted sticker. Uh, the company today is a Wendy's company. Now again, you can see it was way down here around uh, oh, below $5 a share. It's come up nicely and so forth around $10.10 today. 52 week high, 11.56 to low, 8.43. Not a large trading range on this company. And I get very excited about fast food companies because I like the concept of them because what they actually are is they have a lot of turnover. And by the way, this is our newsletter for today. So we're gonna give you some a tease here, but you want more details, make sure you go to our website, smartinvesting2000.com to get the newsletter as well. The company Wendy's founded in 1884. They've only got a $2.7 billion market cap, which I was kind of surprised on. And they actually have about 18.5% holding an Arby's restaurant. And they also have uh, another 274 Mexican restaurant as well, which I was surprised to see. And back in 1984, or 1884, it was not a restaurant. They've had uh, drillers, they've had all different kinds of things. Cigar company, they've changed over the years. Looking at the company now, though, sales down 7.4%, earnings up 112%. Check that, they were from unusual sources, so be very careful. And then debt to equity here, as you can see, 341%. Very strange here, they've recently borrowed about a billion dollars wow. worth of money, and uh, they've actually been aggressively buying back their stock. Now, we always say, you know, it's, it's okay to maybe borrow a little bit of money and buy back stock, but Again, you don't want to over leverage yourself. 341% seems like too much. And also, if you're buying back your stock, you want to make sure it's a great value. And that's what we'll take a look at right here. Going out to December 2017, estimated earnings per share on a gap basis, 42 cents, gives them a forward PE of 24, well above the 40 year average, 16.5. Not a great value. So I would not be borrowing aggressively to buy back my stock at the current time. This is what we call a messy company. Too much going on. We don't like these messy companies. It's like a clean company. So, all right. So let me ask you, if you're happy with the return on your portfolio, on your investments, maybe you're just not happy with your current advisor not giving you good advice that you made no money or he doesn't really know what he's doing. Well, we've been managing money successfully for over 30 years. Maybe it's time you gave us a call here at Wilsey Asset Management. Now, phone number here is 858-546-4306, or you can contact us at our website, smartinvesting2000.com.